Starship number 11 looking back towards the Starbase facility in the fog in South Texas. Once we're at Apogee, shut down the engine as we flip over and then descend back towards the landing pad at Starbase. And we are getting dropouts on the camera, but we continue to get telemetry from the Starbase, from the Starship vehicle. While we're waiting to re-establish video connection with the vehicle, we have shut down the third of the three Raptor engines as planned. We're now beginning the horizontal maneuver back down to the landing pad at the Starbase facilities. As we get close to land, we will ignite the three Raptor engines, flip to vertical, and then land on the thrust of a single Raptor engine. Two kilometers altitude. A nice view from the exterior camera showing one of the flaps on the downrange Starship test controller vehicle controller number 11. Here. We've just passed through one kilometer altitude, getting ready for the relay. We're back with you. As you can see from the uh, frozen camera view, uh, we lost the clock at T plus 5 minutes 49 seconds. Looks like we've had another exciting test of Starship number 11. Uh, we do appear to have lost all the data from the vehicle and the team, of course, uh, is away from the landing pad. So we'll be out there uh, seeing what we had. Please follow us on social media for updates. But with that, we are going to bring the webcast to a close. Interesting flight, and as always with Starship, an exciting time on our webcast. Thank you for tuning in today.